How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be going over and breaking down the updated CDC guidelines on vaccinated people. Now, I know a lot of people personally that have gotten the COVID-19 vaccine, they've been fully vaccinated, and they're wondering what they can do now safely and what they should still avoid. And I also want to emphasize that being fully vaccinated does not mean right after your second shot if you are taking the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines and not right after your Johnson & Johnson shot. According to the CDC and most health profession experts, you have to wait at least two weeks after your Pfizer and Moderna second dose and two weeks after your Johnson & Johnson dose to meet the immunity percentages that you need to have achieved so that you don't spread or increase your chances of contacting COVID-19 because you still have a pretty high chance of getting contacted with COVID-19 if you only took one shot of Moderna and Pfizer. You can still have a pretty high chance of contacting COVID-19 if you don't wait those two weeks. So it's very important for you to wait those two weeks and then you can consider yourself fully vaccinated. So good news is, there are a lot of things you can do now once you're fully vaccinated. And that is the first thing is that you can finally start meeting people unmasked indoors if they are also vaccinated. So the CDC has no other extra recommendations if you are vaccinated and the person you are meeting is vaccinated and you are meeting indoors. It is also safe for you to meet with unvaccinated people within their households unless one of the members of that household, one or more of those members of that household are at increased risk for COVID-19 severe illness, which means they have those illnesses that predispose someone to having more severe COVID because even though you personally might be immune to COVID-19, you could still carry it on your body if somebody sneezes on you, if COVID-19 lands on your shirt and you go to that household and they come into contact with the virus that could mean something more severe. So in most cases, if you are a single person who has been vaccinated, you are free to honestly meet with anyone else, whether or not they are vaccinated, as long as they are not immunocompromised. So good on you. You can do that and have the peace of mind that you personally are going to be fit. You personally are going to be safe and that you're going to keep other people safe as well within their households. And you can do it all unmasked. Now, another really big thing the CDC has added is that if you come into contact with someone who tests positive for COVID-19, you don't need to get tested and you don't need to self-quarantine for 14 days. You can go about and do your business. However, the CDC does want to emphasize that if you are living with people and if you are having interactions with a lot of people or if you start displaying symptoms of COVID-19, you should again quarantine for 14 days and get tested. So these new guidelines basically establish that anybody who is living by themselves or living with people who are already vaccinated, you are kind of free to do whatever that you wish as long as you are still abiding by public COVID safety laws and regulations and recommendations. And if you are collectively visiting people that are not vaccinated. As long as you're vaccinated, you should be completely fine. You should be completely safe. However, the CDC still recommends you should also try and avoid unvaccinated people from multiple households and, and attempt to avoid interaction with them. Domestic and international travel is still, still up there with having extreme caution when you are traveling because airplanes are not the most COVID safe environment, whether or not you are vaccinated because you can still spread it around. And lastly, getting vaccinated, whether it's Pfizer, Moderna, or Johnson & Johnson doesn't give you complete 100% immunity. So if you are displaying some symptoms of COVID-19, CDC recommends that you get tested, that you quarantine yourself, and to practice vigilance because you can still contact COVID-19. So be safe, keep others safe, and continue to wear masks in social in the social public when you're interacting with people that you don't necessarily know or trust, honestly, because there's a lot of COVID deniers out there that are spreading their COVID germs to other people and is resulting in the deaths of many others. Another huge segment of the CDC guidelines is that the CDC is being very honest about what we really don't know so far about these vaccines. 
The main thing being that whether or not these vaccines are effective against the new COVID variants that have been found throughout the nation and throughout the world. So more studies are being done to check whether or not our current vaccines are effective effective against these new variants and some of the research that's out there so far is promising but we just don't have information yet to guarantee that everyone will be safe with the new variants with the current vaccines that we have. We're also still studying on whether or not someone who has been vaccinated has reduced chances of spreading the virus to other people. Studies are still very promising right now but it's not robust, it's not complete so hold on uh, still practice caution because that's important before we gain more information on whether or not we can be more free after getting vaccinated. And lastly, if you've heard Dr. Fauci speak before, we honestly just do not know whether or not people will need booster shots of the COVID-19 after a set amount of time. The vaccine has just passed their clinical trials and have been accepted for wide use in the general public so we don't know how long immunity lasts these covid trials are actually going to last the next two to five years and even more than that to see how long people still have their covid19 immunity so we honestly do not know as of yet whether or not people will have diminishing immunity as time goes on with their vaccine dosage and whether or not people will need to get booster shots later down the road whether it be a yearly biannually and we just don't know the timeline yet, so just be careful out there. I also want to extremely emphasize that although you may feel so great after getting the vaccine, it's really important to set an example and continue to wear masks around people that don't know who you are and because it honestly encourages other people to keep wearing masks because not everyone is vaccinated as of yet. I mean, in my current state, we're still in phase 1A+, plus, which means mostly immunocompromised people, people who are more at risk of developing COVID-19 are able to get the vaccine, but the vast majority of the public are still not eligible. So I do want to encourage everyone who's watching my video to continue to wear masks, to continue to encourage people to wear masks until we get new guidelines and more people get vaccinated that we can start lifting those restrictions. If we lift those restrictions too early, we might have another spike of COVID-19 cases and more deaths. I mean, we've seen that before. Every time a state decides to make irrational decisions about lifting quarantine recommendations. So definitely, definitely stay safe and keep others safe. I love you all. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you will share it with someone who may benefit from the information that I put out to the world for you to consume. And I'll see you on the next video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and to see my activism. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Ben.